Today we're at the Butterfly Garden yeah. here at Stony Creek <laughs> Park in Goldsboro, right <laughs> off East Ash Street, and we're here with <laughs> Jessica Strickland of the Cooperative Extension Service. <laughs> Jessica, why is this called a Butterfly Garden? <laughs> Uh, well, the butterfly garden is uh, called this because it is supposed to serve the purpose of attracting butterflies okay. into the area. And uh, it was started as a master gardener project working with Goldsboro Parks and Recs and having a small butterfly garden and showing what kind of plants can attract butterflies or provide habitats for butterflies in okay. our area. I also <laughs> notice it happens to be shaped in the form of a butterfly. It does. If you were able to look above it, you would see the four wings of a butterfly. And our Extension Master Gardener volunteers, they uh, maintain the gardens, they put in new plants and keep the weeds um, down and mulch and just maintain the gardens and do a really great job of providing some uh, an educational garden a teaching garden about how to attract butterflies and how to keep butterflies in so an area. How long has this been in existence? Uh, I believe it's probably been at least about three or four years okay. that it's been in existence. It looks like a mature garden. It, it does. It wasn't, it didn't, it wasn't just planted yesterday. Uh -huh. uh, and it's, it started out with kind of the idea and some plants and then over time we've, they've continued to add and working with uh, Goldsboro Parks and Recs we've added the curbing and so forth so it's really you know come a long ways and uh, it's turned out to be a really great garden here in the park. So when do the butterflies come? Uh, the butterflies come, you know, usually most people think of them in the springtime, but they can come um, in different times of the year. Um, there's a lot of different ways to attract different butterflies. It's one of those that uh, if you really get into attracting butterflies, you can learn about what plants attract what butterflies. And what you're looking at is trying to provide habitat and environment for the four life cycle, the four stages of the butterfly's life cycle. So any from the egg to the larvae, which we usually refer to as the caterpillars, oh, and yeah. then the pupa and then the adult butterflies, that you're providing plants that cover all those life cycles, providing either a space for them to stay or providing food for them during that stage of the life cycle. Okay, so for butterflies, it uh, different plants perform different mm -hmm. jobs That's for right. the butterfly. That's right. And the mm -hmm. butterfly will be attracted to different plants depending on where he is in this stage of life. That's right. And hey, and I then and when you get into the adult stage you're looking at having plants that have nectar because they're after the nectar. Uh, uh, if you yeah. look close at a butterfly they have that um, kind of that mouth part that's curled up yeah. and it uncurls to get nectar from inside the flower. So a lot of times we're looking at tubular shaped flowers right. where they can stick that mouth part into the flowers and pull out the nectar. Okay. Well, when you stop and think about it, uh, butterflies are actually insects. They are. They, they're, they're insects. insects. Mm -hmm. okay. And a lot of times, uh, part of the popularity of having butterfly gardens that's occurred is is having native plants. And a lot of times those native plants in some cases have disappeared some yeah. over time in the landscape. And having native plants is important because they're attracting these insects that depend on these native plants in order to survive. Okay. So are these plants here in the butterfly garden, are these native plants? Are they native to our area? A uh, majority of them are native plants. Okay, yes, which means that they actually, they gr not only grow mm -hmm. here, but they grow well here. That's right. Yeah, usually they're tolerant of drought, they're tolerant of our climates and environment. And, uh, and that's why a lot of people tend to select native plants is partly that they're adapted to this area, but also they attract those native insects like butterflies and uh, that live in this area. We're gonna look at some of those plants now. Mm -hmm. Some of the yeah. plants that are in the, in the butterfly garden. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the plants we mm -hmm. see here? Usually the first one people think about is your butterfly bush. Right. And uh, usually they get you know, really tall. There's some different kinds that are coming out now that are smaller in size. And uh, it's a perennial, uh, almost woody, that it comes back every year. And it's one that you can cut to the ground, prune it in late winter, and it'll come right back with more growth and those flowers, you know, butterflies love. And a lot of these plants, not only do butterflies like them, but usually birds, hummingbirds, uh, bees. You see a lot of bees around these plants also. So you're not only attracting butterflies, you're attracting a lot of other types of wildlife. Okay, that, and that's a good thing. Now, how do, uh, I, I know that the butterfly bush is indeed a woody shrub. Mm -hmm. uh, in the springtime, yes. you can take growths 
Can you not take, uh, you can take does. new growth from that, can it you? It does. Not? Usually they root pretty easily. Yeah. And you can take uh, some of the cut, some cuttings and most of the time root them fairly easy. And a lot of these plants do you know, root fairly easily. So once you get a few plants, you can you know have them multiply and spread them out and have several of just the same plants. You mentioned around. bees and other insects do, mm -hmm. do uh, normally, do butterfly mm -hmm. gardens also attract hummingbirds? They usually do. Usually a lot of the same plants and flower because they have that nectar that uh -huh. hummingbirds and uh, different types of bees are after also. So usually those plants are attracting those other types of uh, wildlife also. Okay, well aside from the different cultivars of the butterfly bush, mm -hmm. what are some of the other shrubs that might attract butterflies? Uh, we have some salvia in here that's uh, good for attracting butterflies. Uh, has uh, the flowers where they're up on the stem and right. the butterflies can reach them easily. They're spiky, uh, aren't they? They are. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we have some annuals that have just been put in like uh, salvia but also uh, zinnias and marigolds that also attract uh, butterflies too. Marigolds attract butterflies. Mm -hmm. I didn't yes, realize they can. that. They can attract them. But now butterflies mm -hmm. are also good to, to, to help control pests in your in your vegetable garden, are they not? They are. Um, they, you know, it's one of those as far as, you know, life cycles and you know, your food webs, you know, there is some um, insect, or some insects that the butterflies can help control, but there's also some insects that can harm the butterflies. Okay. So it's one of those you do have, you know, trade off that you've got. Uh, various things. Uh, the caterpillars, of course, eat more of your leaves because they've got a chewing mouth part. So that sometimes can be a concern that you know they're going to chew some of the leaves yeah, of you know, some plants. All right, let, let's let's look at that now. Caterpillars, which eventually become butterflies, mm -hmm. have a chewy mouth. Right. And yes. the butterflies, what do they um, have? They have that mouth. It's an unusual mouth part that where it unrolls or it okay. uh, uncurls. The tongue rolls out. Right, yeah. and to suck the nectar out of flowers. Right. Yes. Really yeah. strange. Mm -hmm. okay. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so, and that's what where they have a complete life cycle, where they go through each stage of the life cycle is yeah. completely different or looks completely different than the next one. They go through and that. That change, mm -hmm. that metamorphosis, they yeah, change. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, what about, uh, so, okay, the, you mentioned the salvia. Now, mm -hmm. the salvia comes in different colors. Mm -hmm. It does. Which colors most attract butterflies? Um, or are they all pretty much the same? Yeah, I don't think there's as much uh, deal with color. A lot of people think red seems to attract some of them more. Um, but there's really, as long as you have some, uh, you know, plants uh, there, you know, it's not really a major difference between okay. the color. Mm -hmm. So just about any color will work mm -hmm. as far as the salvia is concerned. Right. Mm -hmm. So we have the butterfly bush and we have salvia. Mm -hmm. Some of the mm -hmm. other uh, shrubs? Uh, we have bee balm, which bee is a balm. popular one. Yeah. And uh, we have some that has uh, red flowers in this garden. And then we also have, um, I see, my mind went blank. Well, uh, we have, we have some lot. herbs like rosemary, oregano, okay. fennel, which, you know, is helping with giving some habitat to the pupa stage. Now, and, the, the rosemary and oregano, they also attract mm -hmm. butterflies and insects? Uh, they can, and also they provide habitat for, you know, usually one of those life cycles. Okay. So some of these plants might not attract the adult butterflies that we see, but it might be a habitat for, you know, like the pupa stage and so right. forth until they do develop into an adult butterfly. So the different different uh, shrubs and plants uh, are not necessarily there to feed the insects or butterflies, mm -hmm. but to provide a place in which they That's can right. live. Mm -hmm. That's right. How about yeah. that? And, uh, and another thing to consider with butterfly gardens is to um, have a source of water because they do need water just like any other you know, organism. Okay. It needs a source of water. Uh, here in the park, we're in a good place where we do have some low-lying areas, right. uh, kind of some muddy areas that are good for it. And a lot of times you see that with butterflies, they kind of you know, gather around those kind of muddy places to gather some water. Okay. And so if you're kind of in a dry spot and you got a butterfly garden, you might want to add a bird bath or some kind of little source of water for okay. them. You mm -hmm. said bird bath. Now, mm -hmm. it's okay to use a bird bath. Uh, that helps um, to attract the butterflies. It is, and it's you know for any insect, even if you're attracting bees uh, yeah. or honeybees, that they still need a source of water too. Yeah. So for most insects, they're going to need some source of water. Isn't that kind of risky for insects? Because some birds eat insects. It, it could be. Yeah, it <laughs> I'm could. just thinking. Yeah, here. it could. You know? <laughs> yes, it could be. But it's one of those that you know it goes through that uh, that food chain where you know <laughs> it's a risk you take if it you're is. an insect. Yeah, it, it's right? part part of nature. <laughs> okay, part of nature yes. mm -hmm. all right okay we have uh, bee balm we have oregano mm -hmm. and some of these other mm -hmm. uh, types of shrubs and, and flowers now is it the flowers that mm -hmm. the butterflies are after 
or do usually, they, they look for other things? Uh, usually the adults, uh, butterflies, are after flowers for nectar. Okay. Uh, fennel and some of those are known for providing habitats for like the pupa stage mm -hmm. of uh, during the butterfly's life cycle. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long do the butterflies live? We have any idea uh, about that? that? I don't know off the top of my head. Okay. You're a horticulturist. Yes. <laughs> you're not, a, you're not a, an yeah. insectologist. That, that'd sorry. be something I'd have to look up. Okay. So right off the top of my head, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Probably just a few weeks, I would imagine, mm -hmm. uh, if they're like any other. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Unless they belong to AARP, and then they live to <laughs> 60. There I, you no, go. I, I don't know. But, uh, all right. I see some marigolds here, mm -hmm. and yeah. I see mm -hmm. some other beautiful. Those mm -hmm. are, what are those right, right over there? Uh, we have some zinnias here. Zinnias. Okay. And uh, we have some cone flowers that are starting to come up and getting ready to bloom that also attract butterflies. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. And, uh, and our butterfly bushes are in there in the taller ones in the yeah. back. Those are mm -hmm. that's going to be those are large shrubs. They are. And yes. This is also uh, mm -hmm. large. And that's that's your bee balm. Bee balm. Mm -hmm. I knew yes. that. Yeah. And then here I with thought the, it was an a balm. Yeah. But it's a bee balm. <laughs> there you go. And uh, here with the yellow flowers uh, is um, yarrow. Yeah, that, I'm familiar yeah, with yarrow. Yeah, they can attract butterflies. Now that stuff spreads like crazy. It does. Some of these can you know spread quickly, but like with those perennials that can spread quickly, if you manage and control them, like even bee balm can continue spreading. Yeah. But it's one of those you just you maintain it and pull out the plants around it and share them with friends and share them with friends. You know, give it away. They're one of those that once you buy some, you can you know you know share them or spread them out to different areas. And these are very easy to grow. They are. A lot of these are very easy to grow. Easy mm -hmm. to grow. Yeah. And in this garden, besides mulch and weeding and just deadheading and cleaning up, uh, there is irrigation on them. And uh, but otherwise, you know, it, they do pretty pretty well with you know the pretty low maintenance. You say there is irrigation in here, but yes. but mm -hmm. uh, being the perennials they are. Mm -hmm. You can get away with letting them dry That's a little right. bit. Yeah, and mostly the purpose of the irrigation is where master gardeners have just come in and put in some new flowers oh, okay. is to give you know give some water to those flowers until they get the root system established. Okay, but we have the bee balm, mm -hmm. we have the the uh, butterfly bush mm -hmm. and the yarrow, and mm -hmm. these are all just about all of them are easy to grow. Yes, they are. are easy to take cuttings mm -hmm. and 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 root. Uh, easy to grow, easy to maintain, mm -hmm. and in fact they will spread very quickly you have that's to right. maintain them mm -hmm. but that's not hard to do and that's the fun of it yes is getting it is. Out there and work that's especially right. when you attract butterflies oh yes everybody yeah. loves butterflies they do and it doesn't take it doesn't take long before you start seeing butterflies showing up right in, um, in the garden right. like this well they're they'll be in in about an hour so yeah. I, we're not going to wait <laughs> but uh mm -hmm. but yeah. uh um, now, mm -hmm. now this is at the city park. This is at Stony Creek Park. If mm -hmm. anybody wants to come by and look, mm -hmm. uh, you're welcome to come out oh, yeah. here. We're uh, uh, Claiborne Street is right over there, uh -huh. and Ash Street is right there. We're across from the uh, the restaurant, the uh, uh, that restaurant there at the bottom of the hill mm -hmm. in Stony Creek Park. And Bicycle World is down here, and the Auto Zones across right. the street. So you know about where we are here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, the the uh, the butterfly park is open. Mm -hmm. Come by and take a look yeah. at it. Get some ideas. Yeah. Start your own butterfly That's park. Right. And in fact, you do have to watch out for the zoomers. The zoomers <laughs> being the the disc. There's some disc golfers out here, and uh, just <laughs> don't forget to duck. Yeah. And ducks are another matter. We'll talk about what they eat uh, in another broadcast. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. That works. <laughs> Jessica Strickland of the Cooperative yes. Extension mm -hmm. Service. Thank you so yes, much for you. being with us mm -hmm. today. Uh, Jessica is the horticulturist for the. Uh, uh, Cooperative Extension Service here in Wayne County. We yes. thank you very yeah. much. Thank you.